Hi there, my name is Jack and I'm a data scientist here at Splice Machine. Today, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to Splice Machine and to Splice Machine's feature store. What is a feature store? A feature store is a continuously updated central repository of features. A feature store has four key uses. It can be used for feature discovery, for model training, for model deployment, and for model governance. Feature stores are a challenging piece of architecture to create. You need to be able to scale, perform analytic workloads to create model training sets, as well as transactional workloads, oftentimes a millisecond speed for model deployment. In order to meet these technical demands, most feature stores utilize two separate databases, one for so-called online transactions and one for so-called offline transactions. However, this method of using two databases comes with a cost, and that cost is data inconsistency between the two databases. When operating properly, two database feature stores have latency between the two databases. When something goes wrong, as they occasionally do in the real world, discrepancies can arise between these two databases that can be difficult or impossible to remedy. Splice Machine is different. It is built on a single hybrid database that can handle any workload without the data parity concerns inherent in two database systems. Now, I'm gonna give you just a quick demonstration of how it works. Each feature set inside the feature store has two tables in the database associated with it. One for the most up-to-date features and one with a time series representation of how feature values looked in the past. Through database triggers, which are set up automatically, when new data is added to this feature set table, old data is automatically moved to the history table. In this demo, I already have a feature set created and I can use this embedded search functionality to find all features available to me. In this case, we have some data from a retailer, and I can search for all data related to the deli at our retailer, for example, click on a feature, and see the distribution of that feature. Next, I can use the feature store to train a model. In order to create a training set, I just need to define my training label, and the API will find every feature available to me and join to my training label in a point in time consistent manner. To do automatic feature selection, I can simply input this training data set created by the feature store into a feature selection algorithm. Now I can train a machine learning model. With Splice Machine, you can of course deploy models in the traditional REST endpoint method. Here, however, I'm going to show Splice Machine's native model deployment mechanism, which we call database deployment. First, I deploy the model we created above as an intelligent table inside the database. This function, deployDB, makes a new table inside the database that contains a user-defined function, which is any arbitrary machine learning model, as well as a set of database triggers, so that whenever a new row is added to this table, a prediction is automatically generated and stored in that same table. Now, I use the feature store to write the SQL necessary to extract the most up-to-date features from the feature store. I can generate machine learning predictions by using a simple insert select SQL statement. Because of the database's fast and scalable transactional engine, this can occur at millisecond speed. Finally, because the feature store, model training, and model deployment all occur in a single place, we have unprecedented levels of data governance. We can easily see the distribution of model predictions over time, as well as the distribution of features used in model training versus the distribution of features that the deployed model has actually seen. We can even look at individual predictions the model has made and see what features were used to generate those predictions. Thanks for listening, and please reach out to a member of the Splice Machine team if you would like to learn more.